this here, um, this apron, a lot of people will just say, oh my, there's no, you, you can't fix that, you know. It's like, come on, anything can be fixed. But I figured I'd do this because maybe you've got just one side of yours that's bad like this. Um, it's, you know, it's not really that hard to fix. It just looks terrible. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to use one of these slide knockers. Um, this is a 10 pound, so, but these are the way to, to fix some of the stuff. And what you want to do is, um, well, you need to get your hook inside there, so I'm going to have to take it off. I'll do that uh, off camera real quick. All right, so you just put it inside the hole on this one and then just give it a couple of swings, which I've already done. Um, I can't do that on, ca on camera, but it kind of gives you the idea to straighten that out. Then I'll hook onto the top and here and straighten this edge out. And then I'll get behind here with the dolly and straighten that out and it's done. All right, so I finally got my tripod set up here so you guys can really watch this happen. It's like a little dent right here. Oh, it's behind that thing. So let me see if it'll read. that one knocked out just kind of worked my way around let's see if I got what I've got with this this metal edge is kind of bent inside here a little bit doesn't really take much to fix. So. This thing's a little bit bowed that way. You can't really see it where you're at, but so it's pretty straight there. We just got a corner down the bottom. Isn't rocket science? There it is. It's all where you hit it. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Just a hand and dolly on this guy. Hopefully, you guys can see this stuff. It's only a couple of times when you hammer on the dolly. the only one
probably going to have to get some pliers to just pull that one out. Mm. Or a chisel. And this is probably the only time you'll be hammering on the dolly. Use this guy right here. Leverage it up. The more tools you have, the better for this stuff. So it's, uh, getting in these areas. Might even use this to see how it works. I don't know. That might work good. limited clearance. I might just go ahead and fill that in with weld. Let's see if I can get it. It's so wrinkled up right there. When it's a fender like this, it's a whole lot easier to fix when it's when it's a uh, uh, sharper chisel. Well, let me pause this thing and we'll get some tools here. All right, so I picked up my other chisel, a sharp one here. Try that one, see if I can get this thing. That's a lot better. Let's see. It's so wrinkled, I'm just hammering on the dolly. Just keep in mind, you do that, you can go stretch the metal. about as good as it's going to get, I think. Let's see. There's one little lip in there that I'd like to get down. This one right here. You can see that. And, uh, up here and try and weld it. There's a couple cracks here. Then I'll go ahead and 
take my rotary file and clean this up really nice. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It's no big deal. Let's take a look at it up close. You guys can look at it. So, this is what I ended up with. You saw how bad it was down here. The shape's right. Um, all the pounding's done. So, what I'll probably do now is I got a couple cracks right here. A little crack there, a little crack there. There's a couple of little ones there. Weld those up. Try and not uh, try and lay the weld a little bit on top, not go all the way through. If I do, then I'll have to grind the inside, which isn't that big a deal. You can get right to it, except for down here. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and grind this down, maybe do some final pounding, and go ahead and fill it up, call it good. Took me about half the time of uh, replacing the apron, so <coughs> I rarely ever replace them because uh, usually they don't fit very, very good anyway. As far as down below, this one's really in pretty good shape down here. So I figured I better try and save it. We had a bad piece of rust hole there, which is very typical. We're going to clean up all that rust, and uh, that's all going to be removed and pre treated. I'll probably do that here and work on that. Uh, pull the bin out, probably pull the one bin plate off of this one because it's so screwed up behind it. It'll rust out. So, anyway, uh, that's it for the metalwork on the apron.